Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this video, we are discussing mat weave, which is a variation of plain weave. In the previous videos, we have seen how to create plain weave, how to create warp rib and how to create a weft rib. Warp and weft rib can be created in regular as well as irregular patterns. Next variation or the last variation of plain weave is mat weave. Mat weave is also known as hop sack or basket weaves. Now if we analyze the previous variations, warp rib is extending the weave in the warp direction. Weft rib is extending the weave in the weft direction. In case of basket weave or mat weave, you extend the plain weave in both the directions. Once again, Basket weave or mat weave can also be formed in regular and irregular versions. Let's see how to mark this. Now the first block that I have marked for the weave design of basket weave is 8 by 8. So what I am going to do is, now when I have to extend the weave vertically as well as horizontally, I am going to mark the first yarn and then repeat the same yarn multiple times. So because it is a block of 8 by 8 and I wish to make a regular a basket weave or a regular hop sack I am going to mark a float of four so here I am marking four up and four down now because I want it to be regular and I have to extend the weave in both the directions I've already extended the weave in the warp direction now I need to extend the weave in the weft direction so since it's four here I'm going to repeat this three more times to create a symmetrical block of four up and four down so my first four yarns are following the same order of four up four down considering the principle of plain weave whatever is up on the first four yarns is going to be down on the next four yarns and whatever is down here is going to be reversed as up so i'm going to mark four down and then four up so this is what my float is going to look like. Repeat the same thing three more times to form a symmetrical block of four by four. So this is what a regular basket weave will look like. So if I am going to uh, minimize this weave design I am directly going to get my plain weave so if I consider this as one large yarn and the second block as the second large warp yarn it is going to be one up one down one down one up which is like a regular maximized plain weave which is extended in both the directions warp ways as well as weft ways to mark this into the drafting order or to thread it into the harnesses now the first four yarns are following the same interlacement order the next four yarns are following the same interlacement order so my first four yarns go to the first harness and the next four yarns go to the second harness this is how a regular uh, straight draft for a basket weave looks like we can, instead of using two harnesses, we can use four harnesses also with two yarns going to the first, two yarns going to the second, two to the third and two to the fourth to reduce friction and to increase productivity. However, that is completely up to the choice of the weavers depending on what their line of production is. However, with a straight draft, this is what the peg plan is going to look like and this is how we complete a regular basket weave or a regular mat weave. Moving ahead to creating an irregular mat weave, we have understood that the weave is an extension in the warp direction as well as in the warp direction, weft direction. Sorry. Now, when you are extending the weave in both the directions with the same number, you automatically tend to get a regular weave. To create an irregular weave, the float sizes need to vary. So, here I have taken a block of 5 by 5, which is odd numbered yarns, and I am going to mark a float of 3 up and then 2 down. 
Now, whatever is the length of my float here will remain the same in the weft direction. So, this is 3. I'm going to repeat the same two more times. So, it's going to be 3 up, 2 down, 3 up, 2 down. This is how we are going to mark it. Now, on the next two yarns, which is 2 here, I'm going to reverse the weave. So, 3 up and 2 down. The next two yarns, it's going to get reversed. It's going to be 3 down and then 2 up. So, these distinct long floats, the block of long floats which are formed here are of distinctly different sizes. This can be used to create attractive effects in fabrics. So, this is what the threading order is going to look like considering the straight draft and your peg plan will look like so. Complete the weave design with the draft and the peg plan and this is an example of your irregular basket weave. You can practice uh, basket weave on different numbers as well for better understanding. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.